Hello guys! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Claire. If you hear a lot of noises, got both pups out here. Got both Penny and Archie out here. So today's video goes along with my Mac Miller tie-dye t-shirt sweatshirt. As you have probably seen in the past, in other videos, I do not have cabinet doors on my cabinets. I do have them, they're just not on them. That is because I have been wanting to paint them and I have taken them off to start, but have not started them. So we're gonna be doing the very first one today. I'm gonna paint this tie-dye like using actual paint. These are the colors and this glitter um, gloss cover protectant thing. We'll go over it at the end, but that is what we're doing. You've probably seen this on TikTok. Some girl has been doing, um, I just realized my ring light has not been on this entire time. That's better. If you have a TikTok, you've seen, there's a girl on there that has painted her whole entire bedroom wall like this. So I thought it'd be fun to add it to a cabinet today. You can follow along with this video and I would love to see if you do and what you create. So you can use this hashtag right here on Instagram and Facebook and whatever. And I'll be giving shout outs and stuff to the ones that I really love and to all of them. And if you are wondering what colors I am using, in case you want to like follow along with this video, which you don't have to, you can use your own colors, whatever. I'm just gonna be doing like a rainbow tie dye, swirl tie dye, you know. So for red, I have this metallic bright red. I believe I got this at Walmart. It's by Folk Art. You can probably get it at Michaels as well, but this is my red color. For my orange, I am using Pumpkin Orange by Apple Barrel. I do get this one at Walmart because they're like 50 cents there. You actually get a lot of paint in a little bottle. And it, for me, working painting wise, it is like the perfect consistency. So that's why I use this cheap paint because I love it so incredibly much. For my yellow, I have Yellow Light by Folk Art. Again, got it at Walmart. Also an amazing brand as well. Amazing paint brand as well. For my green, we have another folk art. Another folk art. It is a color shift emerald flash acrylic paint. So it's kind of hard to see, but it does change colors whenever it dries. If you've seen the painting where I redid my twin brother's artwork, let me get it really quick. It has this color shift to it where it turns green and gold. So that is the green I'm using, this one right here. So if you got to see this video, you know exactly what I am talking about. <laughs> and I can even tag that video down below if you really do want to check that out. So if you want to see that, go in the description below. As for my blue, I am using Apple Barrel Laguna. Again, got this at Walmart. It's a pretty color. <laughs> And for my purple, I did get at Michael's. It's Craft Smart Metallic Paint, and the color is... Oh, there it is. Amethyst? Am Amethyst? Is that right there? Focus camera, focus! It won't focus. But anyways, it looks like this, and it's this metallic purple color. The heck? I have chocolate on my hand. Where the heck did that come from? And then last not, but not least, the kind of like Mod Podge sort of covering I'm gonna be adding onto it is this enamel glitter gold by Folk Art. It is basically like Mod Podge with glitter mixed in. It dries clear and the glitter is just sealed into the top of the product. So I'm probably just gonna cover the entire painting with that one I'm done just to give a little extra, you know, and make it look a little bit more fancy. So let's get started. So to begin, I already have an idea of the outside of the swirl. Uh, 
sketched out. So I will be starting off with red and then once that's done, I'll talk again. It's just another way, I guess, of saying that I'm gonna be doing time lapses of the color so you're not sitting here watching me do each and every color the entire time. Time lapses just make it go a little bit quicker, you know? Now, if you don't have TikTok or you haven't seen the video of that girl painting her bedroom wall, like a tie-dye, I will show you what to do here. <laughs> so now that it's zoomed in, you can see a little bit better. So I'm starting off with red. And what you really want to do is just take it on your brush. If you can see that, I have no idea. I can't even see any monitor. And you just go up and down. Over and over and over to kind of give it that look like it, the color has dispersed everywhere. So you just go over and over. I will probably need to do several coats of this red because it's so light. But that is how you do it, and you just go in the spirals to begin with. So I'm going to jump into the time lapse of me doing the red, and then I will talk to you about stuff after that. Yeah. actually put a few um, layers like coats of the red paint on and I let it dry for the most part there's still some wet spots that I can see but I figured I could jump into the orange now because it's kind of in that stage where it's dry enough so, so you want it to look like that and you just kind of blend it into the color up above and I will be doing several layers of this as well. shift green which I'm super excited about the yellow looks so I'm just gonna do the same technique as I already have and go from there I'm really enjoying this because I actually have a tie-dye sweatshirt that is just these three colors and so it reminds me that it looks really cool this is coming along nicely whenever all the paints on don't worry it's starting to look super good and I'm so excited so I'm gonna move into the blue the Laguna blue this one and we'll go from there I know 
this part looks kind of goofy and this part might look kind of goofy, but for the most part, Kata is never perfect. So this isn't gonna be very perfect either. The blue is still a little bit wet, but I'm going to add the purple on to kind of help it to blend a little bit because I kind of want it to blend because it's gonna be in such a small spot but we'll make it work. I want it to stand out and blend at the same time so that, that if that makes any sense whatsoever. So we're just gonna jump right into that. <laughs> today. I have not added the glitter uh, paint yet. I'm going to let this cure overnight and then we will put on the glitter paint tomorrow and hang it up and see how beautiful it is. So I will see you after this short commercial break. Hello, here we are for day two of this cabinet door painting. Now today will be the glitter gold top coat that I will be adding over the whole thing. This is not full poochie poo, it's a bottle of paint. Now I will do a time lapse for this. You won't be able to see it very much being put on because the glitter is very, very fine. Like as you can see here in my palette, it's just super, super fine. So I will try my best for you to be able to see it. I don't know if you will be able to, but I will bring you in for a close up whenever it's done so that you can see what it looks like. this. <laughs> so for the hinges, I actually spray painted them gold and then I added some of that uh, gold glitter sealant stuff on them too. So they look pretty good. I'll bring you in for a close up for this, but we're going to add the handle, the hinges, and we're going to put the door back up. This is a close up of the cabinet door. You can see the glitter in it. It looks so pretty. I love it. <laughs> also where the cabinet door will be, I have painted the, the square around it gold and I even added some of that gold glitter as well to help tie it together. This is the handle I plan on using to go along with this 60s kind of tie-dye thing. It's just the thumbs up. So that'll be down here. Kind of like that. You'll see it better later. So right now I'll put the hinges on and then we'll get to hanging it up. Okay, so those are on, I'm gonna put it up. This is the cabinet that I keep all my extra tablecloths for the middle island that I usually film on. So that's why those are here if you're wondering. But let's get the cabinet up and then we'll get the handle on. There it is. So now I will attach the handle and that's the final look. The screws do need painted gold, but I haven't done that yet. So let's get the handle on. So here's the final product. So cute. It looks so cute. <laughs> I am very excited to start getting doors put back on my cabinets because it's been a long time without them and I haven't been able to film in front of my cabinets because they look like this and that's just not very pleasing in my opinion to see on a channel of someone that you don't personally know you know when you can see all their stuff so I'm happy to be putting these back up <laughs> this is the first episode in this series I'm gonna have like 
I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably over like 15 because I have a lot of cabinet doors in here. It's all these uppers and lowers to do. So there'll be a lot of episodes in this and every single cabinet door is gonna be different. So this was just the first one and I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. I'm kind of surprised that I got some inspiration off of TikTok of every every place I could have gotten inspiration. It was off of TikTok. Pretty cool though, in my opinion. I like it and this handle fits this perfectly. So thank you guys so much for watching over right, Instagram here over this weird looking open gross cabinet <laughs> and then I'll also write Facebook here over the same exact open weird gross cabinet and I'll also tag my art my art channel this is my art channel I'll tag my vlog channel down below so that you can see what I do outside this channel in my daily life with my siblings and my family and my boyfriend my dogs my animals all of that you can see what we do outside of this channel and be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell icon because I upload on this art channel every Wednesday and Saturdays at, I try to shoot for noon, whatever my time zone is, I think it's EST, I believe that's my time zone, oh my goodness, I sound ridiculous for not knowing that. But yes, I believe it's like noon EST, so I shoot for that. If I don't have it scheduled, it doesn't get up on that time sometimes, but I usually try to schedule everything. So do hit subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you want to see more of these cabinet paintings or just whatever else I do. I have another cabinet painting in the process right over there off camera. I can see it. It's going to be really, really cool through this cabinet door right here. I'm so excited and I have so many more ideas for a bunch of the cabinets in here. I am so excited for these, for this series. It's going to be pretty awesome. But before I keep on rambling and this video never ends. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Rock on, stay safe guys.